Well, hey, YouTube. So, first, let me apologize for not getting a video out for so long. I've been uh, real stressed over Dart. He is starting to get better, uh, but he's got to go to the vet every week, and uh, he has to get to, like, they are working on his jaw. He still can't open his mouth fully, but it may be about that much. So he is actually eating soft foods again, but, uh, yeah, it's rough watching your baby suffer like that. So, uh, anyway, he is getting better, and thank you all that have donated. Uh, it's been a big help, and, uh, yeah, a weekly vet bill kind of sucks, uh, <laughs> to say the least. But today, we're going to get out the 288 and play tree cutter. So I got the 288 with a 24-inch bar on it and some sawdust yet and these two mulberries got to come down uh, this used to be a cluster of mulberry trees and then there was a a couple of uh, posts over here and there was a tree house and last fall we had a real bad windstorm and it blew the whole thing down so very slowly i've been cleaning it up you can see i'm not completely done but it's uh it was cold enough this winter, I really wasn't wanting to get out in it. <laughs> but it's warm enough today, so I'm going to uh, knock this down. Now my issue is, is there's a uh, camping space over there that's got a metal table and some chairs, and I don't want to drop a tree onto it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put the tractor over there, and I'll have to climb up this one and tie a cable to it, or a chain to it, and hook it to the tractor and give it a good tug so that when I cut it, it swings over that way rather than falling straight into the tables over there. This one is protected from hitting them by that dead tree there. And if it takes some of that dead tree down, I really don't care. But I'm gonna cut it down and then drag it out. Then I'll get this one and swing it down that way. But the first thing I'm gonna do is cut this board that's between them, it's part of the old tree house, uh, and just see if it's gonna let, I think this one actually may fall on its own once I cut that. I think all that's holding it up is that, because it's almost pulled out of the ground down here. So let's do a cold start on this saw and uh, see how quickly it fires up, because uh, I haven't started it yet today. So. It's cold. There we go. Now from there, I'll just pull it out with tractor. In fact, why don't we go ahead and do that before we mess with that other tree?
Now I gotta be a tree climber. Yeehaw. Let's see if I can hook that on my belt loop. Uh-oh, I got a knot. Can't be having that. There we go. Yeehaw. Give it a tug. Well, I almost think I could pull it down. That should keep it from going in there. I'm gonna fire the saw up again. I'm gonna, let's put the camera over that way so you can see this thing swing down, hopefully. I can pull that section out and then it's all clean up from there. to get back off of those trees a little bit first so now it's trimming them down by the way this saw working really good I'm through the break-in on it so I've put about four tanks through it now 
Well guys, I think that showcases that uh, G288 pretty good. It, uh, it definitely makes quick work of things. I am going to take a couple of these bigger pieces and actually get, take them up to the sawmill. The rest of it's going to become firewood. Mulberry makes a good firewood. So, whew, I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> anyway guys. I know it's a short one, but I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope you're impressed with the saw, because I certainly am. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.